This is the Aoka KN225C tripod and this is my opinion. So as mentioned, I want to bring you the Aoka K9225 carbon tripod. Now this one is the one you get with the, let me read, KB25 ball head. I will tell you some specs, I will tell you why I got it, and I will tell you my opinion. I will also tell you some differences. And to do this in the best possible way, I will compare it to my favorite tripod, the Manfrotto Element Traveler. The small one, which I'm recording on right now. This tripod weighs exactly the same as the Manfrotto one, which is 980 grams. It has four leg sections, same as the Manfrotto. And now I've got to read some stuff that I measured for you. It's 33 centimeters when it's closed, and when it's at the minimum level, it's 43 centimeters. So that is when you got like the legs open, and the tripod with the center column all the way down 43 centimeters it's 144 centimeters at the top level so as you see it has like almost the same values as the Manfrotto what the Manfrotto has different is that it has rubberized or rubber on the handles on the on the knobs if you want to call them that which the Aoka does not have it's just metal and plastic and I will give you my verdict pretty soon about this video and the product in it, the Aoka. But hold on. Please keep in mind that the content in this video is absolutely my own interpretation of my example that I got. So everything that I'm measuring and I'm telling you is my experience with it. I don't want to say that it's going to be different for y'all, but keep that in mind. You know, the little things. And in no way do I claim that the content in here is 100% correct? So here's my experience. The Aoka has more important features. One of those preferences is the center column, which can get down, can go down, call it whatever you want, but the center column on the Manfrotto just won't go down. If I do want to have the Manfrotto smaller, then I need to unscrew the center column and place the bow head on there which is not always as you know practical the other two features are definitely the spikes so the Aoka has spikes and you can make a monopod out of it now me personally I never use a monopod but the option is there so for example if you want to vlog around you want to go around the city and hold your phone your camera you can just unscrew that and you don't need to take the whole tripod with you you know just it's one more option out there now as for the spikes I like them because especially in windy situations you can tighten up that tripod somewhere on the ground or anything you know it's not that it's gonna be stable I showed you it's not a very stable tripod but for my usage and videos I don't need that I'm not gonna take still pictures for like 60 or longer you know um, exposure I'm not going to take long exposure pictures with this tripod, probably, I almost never take them. So keep that in mind. For me, it's a video tripod and it's a travel tripod. There might be one thing that is actually nice to have, but I would not say it's better. So the main head adjusting mechanism on the Yeoka is a lever, while on the Manfrotto it's a knob. So for me, I personally prefer having the lever because the lever it's just it feels way better than a knob with the knob you know you might need to screw screw and make it tighter but with the lever it's just simple make it like looser and tighter now the Manfrotto does have the rubber grip on the knob so of course it's gonna have a better grip than a metal of the lever on the Aoka but that again is your preference, whatever you like. For me, I like levers, but I won't say the Manfrotto is worse. Now, price differences. The Manfrotto retails at 199. Now, I'm not gonna make differences between euros and dollars because it's gonna be almost the same, but 199. The Aoka retails at 199. Now, you might wanna wait if you wanna get these things or one of these 
tripods because the Aoka might just drop down if you're lucky to like 140 bucks and the Manfrotto I think at the time that I got it dropped to like 99 bucks so you can get a good discount if you're just waiting and you do not need to get it now but are they worth the 200 bucks I cannot make that decision or that argument you know I'm not gonna tell you about that if it's worth it or not I actually never might be a Manfrotto element special one that I got like the the GT ones you know that might be worth 200 but these ones I would say somewhere around 140 for the Aoka is just a little bit too much in my opinion because it's got the wiggly feet the wobbly feet you know if it would be stable 140 legit you know but never 200 and i will always back the manfrotto because it's one of the most amazing tripods that i have you still see it in all of my videos almost i'm taking it with me it's light it's secure it's i'm loving it the only thing i might switch lately is that i take you remember my little aoka the one the best travel tripod that i told you which i actually almost never use i use that ball head on the manfrotto actually so what i got right now buying the aoka this one is the manfrotto with the small ball head from the aoka which is actually what i wanted to have plus the spikes and the monopod so this is what i wanted to have in the end and i have no experience yet with the aoka i haven't used it yet you know i'm just checking it out for the moment so i'll we'll have to get back to you on that one yeah this is my video on the aoka and my final verdict so for me definitely it's worth it it's worth the 140 maybe let's say it would be it would be worth the 140 if it would be super stable so let's say it's a 100 buck tripod but i just needed it for the spikes especially and you know having a light one since the manfrotto is getting old i'm not gonna complain but uh just needed the new one for a new adventure new season of course i'm happy to have made this video and perhaps it helped you so you're welcome and talk to you later